Hey everybody, welcome back to Ask Jonathan. Uh, it's been like two months or something crazy like that since we did this last video, this asking stuff. Um, so we're going to get back into the flow of it. Uh, so I'll start off by saying, if you would like a question or if you have a question that you'd like answered, just leave it in the comment bar below. And uh, if you're really shy about it, uh, some people have sent me messages privately as well. Um, and you can just leave, I'll leave your name out if you'd want it left out, just let me know. Otherwise, just leave in the comment bar. And uh, before you ask a question, if you see a question that's there, that somebody else has left, give it a thumbs up. Um, the more thumbs up that I see, those are the questions that I can tell most people would like to get answered. So, uh, by all means, throw it out there. And if it's not up there, add one. And if you wouldn't mind sharing and commenting on the video, like usual, that's awesome. So anyway, um, this week's question, and I apologize, I'm looking off screen here comes from uh, a user named Digital Shorty, and he or she asks, um, Hey John, I was just wondering, I learned to draw form by free handing a picture of my favorite video game character. Okay, so they're basically saying um, they learned to draw, how to draw freehand by basically drawing their favorite video game character, I think. Um, I get how to look at form and what shapes would represent each body part, but when I go to draw my own creation, my characters look deformed and really unbalanced. I was just wondering if you knew why this was happening and if you have any tips to help correct it. Um, I sure do, and I don't want the answer to come off as me being an asshole or like, again, with the nose in the air or anything like that. It's just, um, you, you don't know how to draw. That's basically what it comes down to. And, and I'm not going to get into that tug-of-war battle where people will say things like, if you look at like a fantastic artist like Picasso or, um, who would be another one? Uh, if you're into comics, Jack Kirby, arguably people say those people didn't know how to draw. You know, their anatomy's whacked. Everything's foreshortened. is weird. Like, you know, nothing's looking right. Everything's a little off and stuff. And, and I'm not going to get into that debate. What I'm going to get into is saying you don't understand form. And that's not a bad thing. At least you're asking questions and, you know, like I said, you're, you know, you're asking me or other people and hopefully they'll be able to give you the answer as well. But it's, it's an easy fix. It's not a terrible thing. I wouldn't get uh, beat up about it. I wouldn't get down. All it basically comes down to is what nobody wants to do, which is practice. Practice and um, looking at things that will help you. So some things that will help you definitely are some really good anatomy books. And I really should have pulled some more out. I did grab one that I, I highly recommend and I'm going to just flip through it and talk. Uh, once I'm done talking to you guys with right here, it'll be at the end of the video. Um, but you can grab books like by Andrew Loomis, like A Figure Drawing for All It's Worth is a fantastic book that I think a lot of people have already read, uh, or most people have tried to draw from it at least once. Um, Bern Hogarth, uh, what, what the hell is, uh, not Bern Hogarth, uh, George Bridgman, sorry, drawing, what? Drawing from life, it's been so long since I've looked at these books. But uh, that's another fantastic book. Now, the reason why you can draw something is because you can see it, okay? The problem is when you come to draw your own creations in your own mind, you literally have to start from scratch. You have to start with that circle, build form over top of it, or you just start scribbling and then building form on top of that. The problem is you don't understand form. Um, like in your, in your thing you said, um, I get how to look at form and what shapes would represent each body part. So... I don't know what the characters that you drew, but I'm assuming you look at like the shoulder and you might see that teardrop shape or that triangle shape. You look at like a bicep, not that I have any, but it would be like a football shape or something like that and like fingers look like sausages and all these really weird things. I, most people, once you start to tell them that, everybody will get that. The trick comes in actually drawing that, like starting from scratch. And then the real trick and the part that a lot of people start to get discouraged by is like right now, that. Draw that, you know, draw the arm coming at us. Can you do that? Now, imagine somebody doing a backflip. Start doing things that you can't just ask your friend to stand up, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, mom, dad, tell them, like, pretend you're Spider-Man, and they might stand there doing this, but it's like, no, 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 I need you to squat down, and I need you to have a leg over your head, and then what I'm going to do is draw you upside, you know, like, this is, these are things that you don't normally have reference for, and the only way you'll get around that is by studying form. So again, do a quick Google search for Andrew Loomis. Um, I'll leave a description in the, uh, in the comment bar below as well. Uh, Andrew Loomis, and I'll post links that if they have books on Amazon anyway. George Bridgman, and then this other guy, this is like the, one of the newer guys that came along within, I'd say in, you know, the year 2000 around there. Um, you know, Loomis and Bridgman are old school, okay? And they will teach you the hell out of draw. But very rarely you'll come across new teachers, I wanna say. 
A lot of people will default to the old guys, but this book right here, Figure Drawing, Design and Invention by Michael Hampton, I can't talk about this one enough. And, um, you know, let me just show you the back real quick. That's how you can see you're breaking form down and stuff. It's a little bit different, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip through this really quickly at the end here, actually right now, and then, um, then yeah, so again, just to beat a dead cat here, don't get upset. Um, the only thing you're doing wrong is you haven't studied the, the basics. You can't, you, few people anyway, can go from just picking up a pencil and drawing am amazing rendered drawings for the first time and the rest of us have to sit down and try to understand it and it'll be a lifelong battle. I continually still struggle with this stuff and I try to schedule time in my busy life to sit down and actually continue to study anatomy and stuff. So. Don't be afraid, it's, it's, a, it's an exciting thing, and you're, you're only going to get better, so how does that suck? Anyway, so enough rambling again. Please leave a question in the comment bar below, and we'll get back to you for another one. And um, until next time, we'll see you later. Okay? Bye. Okay, so again, this is what I was saying really quickly, this book here. I'm just going to flip through it. Um, you can actually check this out on Amazon and stuff, but this is kind of the stuff. And I apologize, I'm kind of looking through the camera a little weird to get this going, but... This is what you need to do to learn like your energy and, and sort of how he says it here, creating a story with your characters and stuff, but it's not necessarily that. It's this kind of stuff right here on this side of the page. Where's my finger at? Right there. <laughs> that's the stuff you're really looking at. That's like your construction and your form. You know, that's how you'll actually start breaking things down. And then when you start adding shape onto it, uh, let me just see real quickly. This is the kind of stuff that I really love this book for. You know, it really starts to show you things that um, will help you get better drawing guaranteed. But anyway, check this book out. I wish you all the best of luck. Everybody else, I'm sure everybody's got this problem. But I wish you guys all the best of luck. And uh, we'll talk soon.